The next disease entity in biochemistry related disorders I wanted to talk today, a chondroplasia. What is the type of inheritance is a favorite question. Autosomal dominant, where is the problem in a chondroplastics, biochemical molecular problem? There is a fibroblast growth factor receptor 3. If you are unable to clear USMLE, you tell my USMLE passing receptor 4 is deficient congenitally. How can I help it? The entire book is looking like a forest for me, while others it is looking like a book. Right? They typically show dwarfism, short limbs, but their head and trunk is normal. And uh, they typically associate with advanced parental age in the oblivion of life, becoming pregnant with the father who is in his 60s, is a and mother in her 50s. So, what is the special thing in this that you have observed in achondroplastic doctor? Short limbs, but the trunk and head are normal. That is a point you need to basically appreciate. Now, let us take up one exam MCQ. Give me an answer. Achondroplasia is associated with the mutation of which gene? It is the fibroblast growth factor. Let online students also punch the answers so that I know they are not sleeping. Fibroblast growth factor. Common MCQ. Then uh, what is the chance? This is a challenging question. If you answer this correctly, oh, you are my great students. What is the chance of having an unaffected baby when both the parents have achondroplasia? This not only applies for achondroplasia, any autosomal dominant condition. Quickly become Grigor, Mendel and try to answer this question. Zero percent? Unaffected baby when both parents have a chondroplasia. How much? Give one big clap to Maliha for the correct answer 25%. How? You need to put the chart, doctor. Affected mother of a chondroplasia, affected father of a chondroplasia. One dominant and one normal, one dominant and one normal. Even if one is dominant, that is enough to show in an autosomal dominant condition. So, the two normals met and unaffected child is there, the chance is only how much? 1 out of 4. This and this combined is only 1 out of 4 kids. How are his other brothers? If they got one normal, other abnormal, one abnormal, other normal, one abnormal and other also abnormal. So, 1 out of 4 chance, 25 percent are unaffected. What are the features of a chondroplasia? Just a review question, not a very high yield one, but review question. They have a typical hand, all three fingers of the same level, trident hand, not trident Oberoi, trident hotels, do not remember that trident. Rhizomelic shortening of the limbs, tome stone like iliac bones. In radiology, we will review that. It is not achondrolysis. Achondroplasia is different from lysis. Right? Now, oh, sorry. I think uh, the next question is three answers are there. Achondroplasia, you have short limbs, skeletal dysplasia, short stage. True. It is not autosomal recessive, but dominant. You all agree with me? And the short pedicles of achondroplasia lead to spinal stenosis and paraplegia can occur because compression on the spinal cord. Hydrocaphalus is not uncommon. 90% of people, that is a whole problem. Hydrocaphalus is the main problem in about 90% uh, of the patients, of 60% uh, uh, of the patients, uh, hydrocaphalus is an issue. And about 90% it is a spontaneous mutation in patients with normal parents. Parents are both normal. Suddenly a chondroplastic uh, chromosome undergone a spontaneous mutation. It being a dominant mutation, even one mutation of one chromosome is enough for you to uh, basically show up the clinical features is what need to be basically understood. That is the story of huh? treatment. You are expecting treatment in neurology, 
Oh, very difficult. Diagnosis will be there in neurology, not treatment. Treatment is debate, discuss, discharge with multivitamins.